Hi, um, this is the other side, and I will be building a PC gaming desktop. I will be going through all the parts as you see on the on your screen and giving you a rundown of what a gaming computer setup would be. An easy one. So let's get started. Okay, for a gaming uh, for a PC alone, you need the the basics of what a PC is. And uh, here I have a graphics card. Uh, usually, the CPU comes with its own graphics in it, but to give less stress on the CPU, you can add a GPU to it. And I have the this Zodiac GPU, uh, the <clears throat> the GE Force seven thirty. Um, I went with this because this was a pretty okay. A budget price graphics card it will be able to do pretty much any game out there uh, not on the highest setting but still 720p is uh, still not it's not the best but it's still uh, HD quality and uh, that's why I went with this one so next is the motherboard this is my motherboard that i chose to get and which this this handles the amd series of a cpu but this is the as rock fm2 a68m hd and I chose this because again it was a fair price that didn't break my budget and it still does uh, pretty well it has its uh, output graphics like I mentioned earlier uh, it, it could handle its own graphics with the CPU um, it has its USB 3.0 and SATA 3 it has a front USB and uh, it handles Oh, Windows 8.1 is the highest and I didn't care about the Windows 10 uh, I never liked it I think Windows 10 wasn't much of an upgrade I don't like Windows 8 either but what I like about this one is it still supports Windows 7 and I haven't decided yet if I wanted to put Windows 7 in there I, I Windows 7 I think was the best thing to happen besides Windows XP and that's still up in the air about what I'm going to do with this. Most likely I'll put Windows 8 just because it's uh, a nicer setup. It won't look so old for my kind of modern technology that I'm putting in it. But then again, we don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, next I have this, which is the CPU. And I have an A8700. 7600 I'm sorry um, I, uh, I chose this one of course because of the price but I didn't go with a a10 or better obviously because of price but I did check you know the specs between the a10 and the a8 and the difference is is a percentage in gigahertz which would be three to four percent which sounds good but it's starting at a 3.1 it's still very decent in quality and uh, and another thing if you wanted to overclock it you can make it a 3.4 gigahertz at turbo and you can make it the equivalent as an a10 so just to think about you know you're still getting the same the same amount for less that's so that's what I'm trying to do is the build the budget PC uh, next I have of course uh, right here I haven't opened it yet but it is 
my one terabyte hard drive. Um, the terabyte hard drive was a good way to go. I'm not going to be doing crazy things with it, but I would like to play some Steam games. Uh, right now I'm using a laptop that it barely handles my recording software, so I would like to record some games or do some video editing. And I needed something stronger, so this is my setup right here, and it didn't cost me so much. Uh, I did my best to order what I can that was in budget, and I found out that this, all this together, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing the memory. I went ahead and got the RAM, which is eight gigs. These are eight gig RAMs to make it a total of 16. Uh, I understand that you don't need the so much RAM right now in these days, but for the price, uh, it made sense for me to get two eights and it was a difference of maybe $20 more or less, depending on how far you've searched and how long you did. And I did as best as I can, and ended up getting these for a really good price. So this, uh, that makes the computer. Now, if you wanted to add a, a DVD drive, you you can order that and make it, or get a Bluetooth adapter. You can order that as well. But I have uh, an old computer, an old Dell desktop that I am running Windows Vista on, which is uh, one of the worst Windows ever. And I don't use it anymore. So what I did was I went ahead and took the the DVD drive from it and here we go this is what it looks like uh, it's a DVD writable uh, everything you can pull from different compu computers as long as you have the drivers that'll work for it and uh, it's a pretty basic DVD drive that I have and I was able to pull it off the other computer and not really wasting so if you have an old desktop you don't have to worry about when you make a new computer or decide to upgrade you don't you know that's what they're for you can buy these things and upgrade your own computer already or if you want to build one like I'm trying to do I can take away the parts from my old computer and put them in my new one also, for example, I have this uh, from my old computer uh, memory card setup. Uh, basic. We don't really use these no more, but I thought it would be a great feature to add onto my computer. Sometimes you stumble upon old memory cards, and we're like, we don't have anything that plays it anymore. But I decided to put mine in. And once again, they only works with if you have, if you can find the drivers, of course. But modern day technology now finds drivers for you, pretty simple. But uh, all of that, and down here, as you can see, down here is my case, my computer case. It is an ASR you know compatible it's just a simple computer case and, uh, pretty much pretty simple basic on and off buttons and I will be installing everything inside here so there you go that's what I did uh, what my budget was it came out to be about no oh, it came out to 320 it came out to 320 dollars and when I decided to get a computer 
I wanted a basic PC gaming computer, not some two, three thousand dollar computer. Uh, doesn't really need that. This setup right here will play, you know, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Scream, Call of Duty, Battlefield. It'll play those games. And you don't need two thousand dollars worth of equipment to do so it's better obviously it's better you can get the high quality you can get the 4k supposedly my graphics card can support that right now but i'm pretty sure it won't be at a high frame rate like a two thousand dollar computer would be but it um that's you know it still does the job and it's not breaking the bank uh i tried looking for a computer uh, instead of making it but I found like the basic computer was 275 I'm sorry 375 and I uh, I went I look at the specs it was almost the same specs it's just that the graphics card was the problem that I was having Everywhere else, I was getting something like this, but the the 240 version, and it's uh pretty much junk. It'll still play the games that you want, but you have to put them at less than 720. Or if you do have them 720, you have to be at a frame rate of I don't know 15, 20, and we're looking for at least that you know 30 to 60 frame rate. So. Uh, you know nice clear picture and uh going through the research i was really determined to buy a, a cheap computer like that and i didn't mind the 375 it's just that when i started looking at my research i found that i can make the exact same computer but add this guy that i do a hundred i guess 80 95 percent better than what the other one was and for almost 40 Fifty dollars less, and uh, it doesn't have to be so complicated. It's pretty simple setup, and uh, I will be showing that. That way, if you want to copy my specs, I'll be putting my specs in the description. And if you want to follow the setup, I will be putting that in video also. So. Thanks for watching and I'm 